Onome, wake up. You know how the manager behaves when someone comes late to work. Wakey, wakey, wake up. My hey, baby, get up. It's morning. Morning, mom. Good morning, my baby. How is your night? Good. Okay. So you need to get up, bathroom, while I go to the kitchen to make breakfast for the both of us. Okay. Is that good? Mm. Okay. Don't. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Eyes open. <laughs> Let's go. I have to make sure you're off the bed. Get up. Please. Purity. So okay. Okay. Oh. Move, move, move. Come, come, come. Let's go. Let's go together. Oh. I don't trust you. <laughs> Get up. You might sleep too much. Bathroom. I'm going to the kitchen. Okay. Peter, yes sir. We're to go pick my daughter up today because I'm to take her to school. Oh, oh okay, sir. Adunga. Are you going to find me right like this? We will, we will. When? I don't know now. Hey, this one, that small sleep. Was it warm to 15 minutes extra sleep that I got? That somebody's it's late now. Sleep. When I was oh. waking you up, you didn't want to wake up that time. You're so small Jesus. You were sleeping so much. Oh, Jesus. You better find Keke. Oh. We'll, we'll get, don't worry, we'll get Keke. Hey. But we'll this will be this one place now. The road there. Okay, hey. hey. Should eh? We should go there. Let's there's go. one there. Yes, yes, there's one there. Purity, are you Let's done with your breakfast? No, not yet. You know your dad is on his way to pick you up. Okay, mom. Oh, that must be your dad. So finish up while I get the door. Okay. Yeah. Hi. Is she ready? Yes, yeah, she's finishing up. Come with me. All right, thanks. Daddy's here. Hey, princess. Dad. Good morning, Dad. Um, you okay? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Missed you. So, you're not going to invite me to have breakfast? Hmm? Come on, join me. <laughs> That's fine. Hurry up. Okay, I have a meeting in the office today, so I need to drop you off on time. Oh. Okay. Okay. All right. So yep. Let's go. Bye, Mom. Bye, Angel. Have a good day at school. Yep, yep. Bye. All right. Okay. See ya. Bye. Sorry. Thank you. So what's my itinerary for today? Uh, okay. You have a meeting in the next two hours with the Odudu Group of Companies representative. And then you have another meeting with the law firm concerning the contract. And then another meeting after breakfast, after dinner, after lunch, sir. After lunch, I'm so sorry. After lunch. And they have confirmed that they might make it here for the meeting. But if they don't, it will have to be a virtual meeting. But I'll confirm and then I'll let you know. Okay, that'll be all, thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. Sandra. Sir? I need you to put up a vacancy notice for a personal assistant. Okay, yes, sir. I need the person as soon as possible. Absolutely, sir. Because I don't see you working as my secretary and my personal assistant <sighs> at the same time. 
Thank you so much, sir. All right, that'll be on. Thank you, sir. <sighs> Sandra, could you come to my office, please? Sir? I'll be leaving for lunch now. Okay. Uh, what's the update on the meeting I have after lunch? They've confirmed it to be a physical meeting, so their rep will be here by 2 p.m. Okay, that's fine. I should be done by then. Oh, okay. All right, thank you. you. Peter. Yes, sir. I really feel like eating an African dish. Oh. Are there any good restaurants around that you know that really have very, very good African dishes? Yes, I know of a place. Although I've not been there before, but a lot of people say their food is really, really nice. Probably you should try. Okay. Do take me there then. All right, sir. Yes, sir. Hello. Um, this is our menu. What would you like to eat? Okay. I heard that you guys serve the best African cuisine. Um, maybe you could suggest something for me. Um, all our meals are really delicious. Yes, but you could try the Afang soup. That's my favorite. Okay. All right, I'll try that. The Afang soup? Yes. Okay, what swallow would you like it with? We have semo, gari, wheat. Um, which of them do you want? I think semo is fine. Semo? Yeah. I'll bring it up. All right, thank you. Should I turn the water? Yeah, this is fine. Thank you. You're Enjoy your meal, sir. I will.
よりない。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん Really nice. Woo! So nice. Did you enjoy your meal, sir? Thank you. The food was delicious. Nice to hear that. Yeah. Um, sir, the bill is ten thousand naira. Okay. How would you like to pay, POS or cash? I can do that in cash. That's not a problem. Here you go. <laughs> Good. This is for you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. <clears throat> um, should I take the water? Yes, please. I'm done with that. Hello, Jib. Yeah, I just finished eating now. Okay, you're at the office? Okay, that's fine. I'll see you in a minute. All right, man. <clears throat> Rita, manager wants you. Whose wallet is there? There was a customer that was here. I think he just left. I can't find him. Um, we'll sort this out later. The manager wants you. Come and answer him first. We'll sort this one out later. Babe, hmm? this where is that money I told you to keep for me? Are you serious? <laughs> I really need money for something. I know I told you to hold it for me, but I need it for something. Oh, no, me, you're not a serious person. Mm -mm, you're not. I know. But you realize there's people that have plenty of money that is to save. I'm, I'm struggling. Like, when did you give me that money now? You're asking for it already. On a serious note, you need to learn to save. I will. Very soon. But for today, I need that money for something, eh? I'm, no, I'm really going to start saving very soon, very, very soon. That's your business. If you check the drawer in my room, you'll see there. Thank you. Don't worry, I will save. I will learn very mm -hmm. soon. Like I care. <laughs> hey, this wallet is still with you. I did. Oh my god, you know, I actually forgot about it. I should have just handed it over to the manager that day. Oh my goodness. Maybe you should open it and see. Probably there'll be a card or something inside so we can reach the owner. That's true. I didn't even think about yeah, that. I haven't even touched it, like opened it since that day. My god. Why is there so much money inside his wallet? I don't know. That's a lot of money. Why does he have so much money in his wallet? I, I, I don't know. This is a lot. Okay, um, still check. Probably there's a card so we can back, call him. Yeah. So we'll we can back, reach. Please. Yeah, yeah. Just check for a card. Colette Amici. Oh, there's another card. Do you now know which one is his? Uh, it's just two now. Let, let's try calling both. Oh, this one doesn't have a number. Maybe we should call this one. Because this one has a number. Okay. You still want to take it to the manager? No, I don't think that's a good idea. Have you seen how much money is in here? And I don't trust them to give him all of it. Yeah, that's a lot of money. 
Okay, so I'll have to take it to him myself. That makes more sense. Lunch break tomorrow. Yeah, that works. Ha. It's a lot of money to be in a wallet. Yeah, tell me about it. Just just keep it. Um, let me go and collect my money and beg. No, I feel so responsible. Let me just go and keep it properly because I don't want stories. <laughs> Yes, sir. I can't seem to find my wallet. I've searched the house and everything. I can't. I can't remember where I left it. I mean, there's cash in that wallet, but that's not a problem. I have two major ATMs there with two big accounts that I cannot afford to lose. So call those banks and have them block those ATMs immediately. Right away, sir. Meanwhile, uh, how's the search going for my personal assistant? Oh, um, we have applicants already, but the date for the interview hasn't been set yet. Okay, that's fine. Instruct the HR department to shortlist three people, and I'd like to interview them myself so I can make my choice. Okay, sir. That'll be all. Thank you. Okay, thank you, sir. All Good afternoon. How may I help you? Um, my name is Rita okay. and I'm here to see Mr. Dimiji. Okay, do you have an appointment with him? Um, no, I don't. So why are you here to see him? Well, it's quite personal, I can't tell you, but he would really like to see me. Okay, um, he's in a meeting as we speak. So you have to like sit and wait for him. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. I can't wait. Okay. Can you have your seat? Isn't he done with the meeting yet? Do you have an idea when to be done? To be honest with you, I... Sometimes these kinds of meetings, they take a long time. Well, I don't think I have that time. Um, can I come back tomorrow? Because I need to go back to my restaurant. Sure you can. Um, hopefully you can see him then. Okay. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you. All right. Take care. Take care. No, you 
just pretending that we care when we both know this love is so over, so over. We can follow our hearts. Good afternoon. Hi, good afternoon. Um, can I see him? Is he around? Oh no. Oh. He's gone out for a lunch meeting. I'm so sorry. I'll just suggest you come back tomorrow. Okay. Mm. No problem. Right. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Bye. But today is the second day you're going there and you still haven't seen him. Is he that busy? Yes, he is. You know how these big companies are? Sometimes they're always very difficult to run. Well, since he has all that money and is running a big company, why don't we just keep this money to ourselves? No, we are not doing that. We're going to take the wallet back and return it to him. Besides, we're not thieves. I know, I didn't say we were. But he has a lot of money. He's a billionaire. Keeping this one won't hurt anybody. I don't care if he's a billionaire or he has all the money in the world. As far as I'm concerned, the money doesn't belong to us and we're going to return every penny of what is in that wallet. Okay, but there is no but on our mayor. We're taking the money back to the office for as long as we can until we get to him. Okay. You mean he's not still around? Yeah. You know what? How about you give me your number? So when he comes back, I'll call you and let you know. Oh yeah, I think that's a good idea. I didn't think about that. Um, Rita. Yeah. The number? Zero. You know what? Just. Okay. Beat it. Alrighty. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. All right. Bye. Have a nice day. <sighs> Finally, I get to see you. I'm sorry. Have we met? Uh, well, you might not remember me, but we met the other day at the restaurant. You came to eat and you forgot your wallet. Really? Yeah. You know, I've been looking for this everywhere. I never thought I left it at the restaurant. Aren't you going to count the money in it to be sure that everything is intact? Well, you said everything is here, right? So I'm sure everything is here. Thanks, okay? I appreciate it. Yeah, I need to go back to the restaurant. Thank you. So what did you say? Well, he just thanked me. I refused to count the money, saying that he trusts me. Okay. He didn't say anything else? No, he didn't. So I left. He didn't offer you money? Offer me money for what? What did I do for him? Besides, even if he did, I wouldn't have taken it. I know, but at least he should have offered. I don't think so. I didn't do anything for him. Why should he offer me money? He thanked me and that's more than enough. Okay. It's fine. You returning his wallet was not a service, Abby. <laughs> oh. Well, it's lucky I was not the one that found the wallet. God, Onome, sometimes the way you think... Jesus Christ. I wonder how we're friends. <laughs> all those plenty yeah, dollars just, like yeah. it. Honestly, I don't know what's wrong with you. No, but it's true now. <clears throat> You're over this good good summer. And this, I'm not about to get anything, Joe. It's lucky I was not the one. I'm not serious. It's serious, oh. It's serious. After paying transport to his office, how many times? Really? Yeah. You know, I've been looking for this everywhere. I never thought I left it at the restaurant. 
Aren't you going to count the money in it to be sure that everything is intact? Well, you said everything is here, right? So I'm sure everything is here. I'm quite impressed. Um, my colleague said you sent for me. Yes. You returned my wallet with everything still intact inside. That's very weird and really rare in this part of town. Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Um, I came here to give you this. Here. I'm sorry, no. I, I can't take it. I didn't do it for the money. No, it's fine. It's just my way of appreciating what you did. Well, saying thank you to me is just more than enough. Wow, you shocked me again. Can I ask you a personal question? What are you doing here? What do you mean, sir? Oh, what are you doing working as a waitress here? Um, well, <clears throat> in this country where we are, Considering the employment rates, even your certificate is not a guarantee, so. You're a graduate? Yes, sir. Please, sit down. Um, sorry, I am not allowed to do that when I'm on duty. It'll only just take a minute. Go ahead. So what did you study in school? Business administration. Okay. Um, there's a vacancy at my office for my personal assistant. And it's been vacant for a while. So I was wondering if you'd be up to take the job. What? Yes, sir. I, I would love to. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, sir. That's fine. I really appreciate it. Thank you. I promise I will not disappoint you. No, I know you will not disappoint me. So, will it be okay to ask you to come on Monday so we can further our Yes, discussion? yes. Yes, I will come. That's fine? Yes, it's fine. Okay. God bless you, sir. Thank you. It's fine. All right, so let me take my leave. Sir. I'll see you on Monday. Okay, sir. All right. Thank you, sir. Thank you. for you. Uh -uh. So you have a new job. Woo! <laughs> I am happy for myself as well. Thank you so mm. much, my darling friend. I mean, who would have thought that that young man walking into the restaurant would lead to me getting a new job? I know, right? God works in mysterious ways, really. I'm telling you, he does. <laughs> he really does. <sighs> I can only imagine how much my salary would be. No, it's going to be so much, obviously much more than what they pay us at the restaurant. Mm -hmm. Finally, I can now send money home to my parents. Yeah, you can. Ah, I'm so happy, like, this is such great news. I'm going to miss going to work with you. 
I'm going to miss you too. <laughs> well, let's hope I get a better job soon. Like, I really cannot wait. New job, God, please. It's going to happen by God's grace, okay? God that did it for me would definitely do it for you. Amen, 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 amen. amen. Ah, amen. I can't wait for real. But moving on, what are you wearing to work tomorrow? Ah, if I tell you, I do not know. I don't even know what I'm going to wear. What? You're starting work at a big company, and you don't know what you're wearing to work tomorrow. Okay, so right now you're going to leave that thing you're doing. We're going to your wardrobe to look for the best thing that we can find. That's what we're wearing to work tomorrow. Oh yeah. Okay. Leave it, leave it, leave it. Let's go. Let's, let's go. Let's no, go. no, 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 no. Let's go. Let's go. Okay, let me turn we'll, off the fire. Uh, turn off the gas. Let's go. Hello. Hi. Hi, good morning. Morning. Um, I'm here to see Mr. Dimeji. He asked to see me. Um, he did. You're Rita, right? Yes. He's expecting me. I'll call him to know you're here. Good morning, sir. Um, there's a Rita here to see you. Yes, I'm expecting her. Okay, sir. Okay, please bring her in. And come with her as well. Okay. This, this way, please. Okay. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Uh, Sandra, this is Rita, my PA. PA, sir? Yes. Um, the HR department have already shortlisted the top three people that have applied. Oh, that's fine. Sorry, I didn't inform you. Oh, okay, sir. Yeah. But there won't be any need for the interviews anymore. Rita here is my new PA. Okay, sir. Um, Sandra would uh, show you around and fill you in. She'll take you to the HR and also the accountant so they can sign off on your wardrobe allowance and every other thing that you need to get started. Uh, yes, yeah, sir. Thank you. All sir. right. That'll be all. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Let's go. After you. <laughs> Come in. Good day, sir. Good day. Please sit down. Um, okay. So what's my schedule for today? Uh, your schedule. So you have a 12 p.m. meeting today with the investors. And then you have a one o'clock lunch meeting today. Okay, is that all? Uh, yes, so far that is all. Sorry, what day is it today? It's Thursday. I'm supposed to be picking up my daughter from school today. Your, do your daughter? Yes, your daughter. Okay. Um, put that in the schedule as well. Okay. Sorry. And also put that I'll be picking her up every Monday from school. Okay. And also clean that up in case I have any meetings on Monday morning so you know how to organize that. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll need to update the schedule as soon as possible. Okay. Anything else? Uh, that'll be all for now. Okay. Dad, 
dad, who is she? That's my PA, Rita. Your PA? You had a male PA before, why does it have to be a female now? Does that matter? I mean, she's the best person for the job, that's why I hired her. Mm. Enough of this, okay? How was school today? School was good, and my presentation went well. You did? Mm -hmm. That's nice. Good to hear. <laughs> Alright, Peter, let's go. It just felt like, like she hated me at first sight. I really don't think there's something to worry about. You know how these rich kids can be? They don't have manners. Well, I'm not so sure this one is about manners. It was more like, like she wasn't comfortable with the fact that her father's personal assistant is a woman. Why would she have a problem with her father's personal assistant being a woman? I don't know. Where's the girl's mom? I don't... I don't think they're together anymore. I mean, he never speaks about her. Well, that's the more reason why she should not even have a problem with her father's PA being a woman. I don't know. I don't care. I don't care about either of them. You know what? I'm tired. I'm going to out my nights. I'm going to bed. Yeah. Oh, I'm so tired. I have work tomorrow. Good night. Good night. See you in the morning. Yep. Bye. Bye. One minute. Hi. Good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon. Please, take a seat. Thank you. And how's your day? Uh, it was fine, sir. Okay. Are those the documents I asked for? Yes, sir. This is not adding up. Sir? The account I have with them is not what's written in this document. Um... How is that possible? I'll have to go through all this to make sure I know why this is not adding up. Oh, Here. Go through those rigorously so I can know exactly where the money is going to. Sure. Yes, sir. Right.
this clearly shows that there's some sort of embezzlement happening here. I mean, each account that is funded is clearly overstated. Yeah. Most likely the finance department is in on it. Or even the people, the clients handling the project. Or they're just both involved. I don't think the both of them are in on this plan together. Because their accounts are dedicated and independent. But at the same time, somebody here is lying. Yes. And I'm not going to stop until I get to the bottom of it. And Mr. Ade on Monday has a lot of explaining to do. Yeah, he definitely does. <sighs> um, sir, uh, it's getting really late. My roommate will be so worried. I think I need to continue tomorrow. I need to go. You know we're going to have to finish this tonight, right? Because we're on a very tight schedule. Mm. If it's okay, I can get the guest room ready for you. If it's okay, that is. You mean here? Yeah, that's if you don't mind. Yeah, of course. Thank you for the... Are you sure I'm not going to be evading your space in any way? No, no, not at all. You're my guest. Thank you for the offer. You're not asleep? Uh, uh, no. Not yet. Why? You couldn't sleep? Well, not yet. Why are you not sleeping? Uh, I couldn't sleep also. Well. So, um... Do you need some company? Um, I, I don't mind. I hope we're not going to talk about stock markets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, that is my story. Hmm. It's quite sad. But I'm happy for you, though. I mean, look at you. You've done so well with yourself. Well, that's thanks to you. Mm. Like, seriously, I really want to say thank you for the opportunity. That's fine. And also, I think you deserved it. And you're really amazing at your job. You know that, right? Thank you very much, sir. You're welcome. Um, I'm sorry, I don't mean to pry, but I just want to ask, why did you separate from your ex-wife? Hmm. My ex-wife. Uh, we grew apart. And we stopped making each other happy. Well, oh. I'm so sorry to hear that. That's fine. I mean, we're, we're both moved on. So, we're good. Hey. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> okay.
I can't believe he said that. <laughs> he did. Oh, wow. <laughs> like this agent literally said to us that we were too tiny. <laughs> it's crazy, I promise you. <laughs> yeah, it is. It really is. Mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm. The bottle is almost finished. We've been drinking for... How long now? Man, we've actually been here talking for hours. <laughs> and we did that all by ourselves. Yes, we did. You know, I... I need to go to bed. Hmm. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> So you guys kissed? Yeah. Okay, so how was it? How was Eid? Is he a good kisser? Did you like it? I don't know. What do you mean by you don't know? Did you like kissing him? I guess so. Well, that means you liked it. Simple and short. He's my boss. And so, what does that change? That should just, you know, see where this leads. This is not leading anywhere, okay? We kissed and that's it. Nothing more. But it seems like you like him. <sighs> Duh. I mean, he's good looking. He has great qualities. He's a nice man. I just feel like he won't like someone like me. Someone like you? What do you mean he wouldn't like someone like you? Goodness, can you not see that I am not his type? We don't even belong to the same social class. Really, does that even matter anymore? It doesn't matter. If, I feel like if you guys like each other, you just go with the relationship. <sighs> well, we kissed, but what if the kiss doesn't even mean anything to him? He kissed you. You two kissed. <sighs> yeah, but... I don't know. I just... I just feel like, I mean, we were tipsy, so... You know, alcohol gives us the courage to do what we can't do when we're sober, right? Right. Mm. But... But nothing. No buts. You're going to go with the flow. Okay? Okay. <sighs> Okay. Good. You're gonna go with the flow. She kissed the boss. Ooh. <laughs> good, good morning, sir. Good morning, Rita. Please sit. Thank you. So, have you spoken to the suppliers about the difference in figures? Um, yes, sir, I have. They said they don't know anything about it and they won't be responsible. So, it means that the accountant has a lot of explaining to do. Okay. Please tell him to see me in my office immediately. Okay, sir. That'll be all. All right, sir. Rita. Sir? What happened at my house was a mistake. And it shouldn't have happened. Yes, sir. 
Do I make myself clear? Yes. You can leave now. So they have accepted our terms. However, they have some conditions which they already shared with me. I have sent them to your email, so please try and look at them and let me know what you think in case we need to change anything so that I could actually schedule the meeting for us to sign the contract. Okay, that's fine. I will go through it and uh, make my decisions and get back to you. All right, sir. And also, you know you're my personal assistant, right? Yes, sir. That means you're going to be coming as my plus one. I'll send you some money so that you can get yourself a really nice outfit and any other thing to look the part. Okay? All right, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. All right. Okay. No, but we're not investing in Pine Estates. I told you that yesterday. Okay, so how much are they talking about here? So what's the offer on the table? Peter, please be more careful next time. Oops, that restaurant has become so chaotic. That manager is so wicked, like the kind of things that he does, eh? I don't even understand. I can't wait to get a better job and leave that place, I swear. I can't imagine. I'm so sorry. Don't worry, very soon there'll be an opening, okay? And I'll chip in a word or two for you. I would really appreciate that, baby. Like, I am tired. I know. Oh, these people mentally exhaust me. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Oh my god. What is it? My boss just sent me 500k. For what? So, we're meant to have a meeting over dinner tomorrow. Okay. Uh, I guess it's for wardrobe. As is plus one? Mm hmm. Mm. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so it's nothing like that. I am just going there with him as his personal assistant. Naso, be there, deceiving yourself. It's not a formal thing, so you don't have to be there. Dinners and stuff like that, they usually go with your partners, but he's going with you. Well, if it was anything other than work, he wouldn't go with me. Mm. Your boss likes you. Deal with it. Well, if he does, he wouldn't kiss me and say it was a mistake, would he? Babes, you know that was just him trying to avoid telling you the truth that he actually does like you. But why? I don't know. But we're going to make him. 
make him do what? Say the truth. That he likes you for real. Oh, no, man. Mm -hmm. So tomorrow, you're going to dress really nice. Like, you are going to slay mama to that event or dinner or whatever it is. You need to look very good. So when he sees you, he has no choice but to tell you the truth. That, oh my God, I'm in love with you. Why yes. is your head always in the gutter? Well, it's always in the right place. Why? Whatever. Why? Whatever. Good girl. Whatever. But you are going to look hot. That's the bottom line. Yeah. Good evening, sir. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. You look great. Thank you. Uh, okay, it's already getting late, so um, let's hurry so we don't get late, okay? Yeah. But give me one second, let me go upstairs and get my car keys. Okay, sure. All right. mm -hmm. D. Ah, ah. Des. I've not seen you for some time. Yo, my G. How you doing, man? I'm alright, I'm alright. I, I never get to see you now. You're always traveling. What's up with you? You know how the work gets. You know how the work gets. That's true, Sha. I gotta bring that money. Uh, where are my manners? Um, this is Rita, my personal assistant. Hi, Desmond. Hi, Rita. You are beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Desmond, you and women are beautiful. You and women. Yes, but she's too beautiful to be your PA, though. Oh, come on. She's just my personal assistant, man. That's all. Ha. Okay. <laughs> Let me get you something to drink, man. It's been a while. Shop now for on the German market. Second one of Ariaria. The third one now come be a lava. The money plenty. You see, as you sit down for this table, no thing they happen. You are still with Union Kona, the original money man. Okay. So anything where you want, you order, even a takeaway. You know, I get business partners in Lagos here. Yeah. I kill it. Uh, you know, vintage. We be Kubana there. They're business partners. Confirm. Well, she just green now. We we'll begin pour you water, water with everything off here. I mean, you, you, you go no get money. You buy fine boy. Money not the talk. Okay. <laughs> okay. It's, it's, it's been so interesting speaking with you, Mr. Ecolad. Um, what's your name? Don't make Don Brian International. Don Brian. But I'm very fine. <laughs> like, honestly, I'm good. Not be mad though. This one has the green now. Money go the flow. <laughs> hmm? I'm okay, I'm fine. You're a very funny person, I must say. Like, you're quite interested. Funny with money. Money now, funny now. <laughs> you understand? Know Don't oh say God. yes, make the thing happen. Where are you from? Bona, Chief Ibo Land. In the States. Wow, in the States. Interesting. Yes. Very nice to meet you. Yes, now you go see what you go up. <laughs> No fear, she will be saying that your jammer for office. <laughs> um, I have to go with Mr. Bonang. Bye. No. No, come give me your number now.
You have been acting weird since we were at the restaurant. Is everything okay? Taking you to that party was a monumental blunder. Minutes after we got there, you were talking to every d in a trouser. Are you that cheap? I was just having a conversation. Besides, I was bored. I don't see anything wrong in someone shooting a shot. So the kiss meant nothing to you? You're the one that said the kiss meant nothing, not me. So now I meant something to you? Actually, the kiss meant nothing to me too. Oh, great. You can leave. Bye. Rita. Please. Okay, look, I'm sorry. The kiss did actually mean a lot to me. I mean, when I kissed you, I literally felt butterflies in my stomach. And my heart was racing so fast, I didn't know what to do. My heart beats for you, Rita. See, I knew that from the first time I saw you, there was something really special about you. The way I feel for you, I really cannot explain. And I'm tired of hiding his feelings. Dad! Dad? Dad! Dad! Can I explain? Wait! Crying. Purity. Purity, what's wrong? Baby, please open the door so we talk about it. Purity. Purity. Where's Purity? Dimeji, she came home crying and she locked herself in her room. And the last I remember, I asked my driver to take her to your house. So what happened? Speak to me! What happened to my daughter? She saw me. And she saw you? So? She saw me in bed with Rita. What? How did that happen? Look. I don't know. I left the door open. Excuse me! How could you let that happen? Can I please explain things to her? Who's Rita? My personal assistant. The same lady she suspected you both were having something. Please, can we not do this now? I just want to see her and explain things to her. Please. Purity. 
Darling, are you okay? Are you okay? Sweetie, are you okay? Purity. She's not saying anything. Baby, please say something to us, please. Come on, you need to open this door. I don't want to break this door down, but please open the door. Purity. Open the door, please. Your parents are worried. Open the door. I'm gonna, I'm going to break this door. Open the door. Purity. Purity. I wanted you. Purity. Wake up. Wake. Up. I need to take her to the hospital. So many questions <laughs> begging for answers. <laughs> Where did we ever go wrong? You used to love me and I adored you Our love was ever so strong But now the colors are fading Things are not the same I'll be a man and I'll admit the love we used to have I sailed away, sailed away She's awake Hey baby, how are you? I'm fine I'm so sorry I just wanted you guys to be back together I'm sorry My angel, you don't have to be sorry Okay, it's fine the doctor said you'd be okay, so we're both happy about that. Look, I'm sorry for what you saw, okay? And I'm sorry for causing this. So many questions searching for answers. Where did we ever go wrong? Do you feel maybe we gave up on us too soon? And that maybe we could have fought for our marriage. Kimiji, I knew our separation was bad for her, but I didn't know it was this bad. Now, just look at what we've done to her, how she's laying there. Please, stop crying. Please. She will be okay. I promise you, she'll be fine. <laughs> so over, please. We can follow our hearts and go. We deserve another shot at love. I want you to be okay. You'll be fine, and I will be alright. We can follow our hearts. Shot at love. I want you to be okay. You'll be fine, and I will be alright. Yeah. Uh, I've been trying to call you. Is everything okay? Purity overdosed on her multivitamin drugs. What? She tried to kill herself. Oh my goodness. She Is she okay? The doctor says she'll be fine. <sighs> Thank God. <sighs> Look, Rita, we can't continue like this. What would, I have, what, would, what would I have done if anything happened to her? I wouldn't have been able to forgive myself. So, please, I'm sorry. We're going to have to end this. It's fine. So, everything you said to me was a lie? No, Rita, I promise you everything I said to you is true. 
and I really do love you. But I can't afford to lose my only daughter. So please, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I can't see you anymore. I can see that you have it all planned out. Oh, goodness, I must have been such a fool to actually think that all the things you said to me are true. I'm going to turn in my resignation letter. I can't, I can't work there anymore. Rita. Rita. I'm fine. Come on. You know you need your food, right? The doctor says you need your vitamins and enough nutrition from your food. So at least two more spoons, okay? Just two. Okay. One. One and a half. Okay, two. How do you feel? Is that please water? Okay, you want to drink some water? There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. Dad, hmm? it's getting late. I think you should head home now. Besides, mom is here to take care of me. What do you mean? I'm already home. But what do you mean by that? I moved in so that we can be a family again. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. Dad, thank you so much. Oh, you're welcome. I'm so happy that we're family again. Anything for you. So many okay. questions begging for us. So now that you're happy. One Where more. Did we ever <laughs> go wrong? You used to love me and I adored you. Our love was ever so strong. Is she sleeping yet? Yes, she is. The colors are fading. Things are not the same. I'll be a man and I'll admit the love we used to have. I sailed away. Sailed away. 
No use pretending that we care when we both know this love is so over, so over. We can follow our hearts and go. We deserve another shot at love. I want you to be okay. You'll be fine, and I will be alright. So many questions, searching for answers. Where did we ever go wrong? You used to love me, and I adored you. Our love was ever so strong. But now the colors are fading. Things are not the same. I'll be a man and I'll admit the love we used to have has sailed away, sailed away. No use pretending that we care when we both know this love is so over. So over, we can follow our hearts and go. We deserve another shot at love. I want you to be okay. You'll be fine, and I will be alright. We can follow our hearts and go. We deserve another shot at love. Sir, I want you to be sir. okay. Es excuse me, sir. Uh, how long have you been standing there? Uh, not for too long. So what is it? Um, they're ready for the meeting now. This is the brief. All right, I'll show, I'll show them now. Thank you, sir. What were you thinking about? Nothing much really, just work stuff. But you don't have to think that deeply about work. Hmm? I'm sure whatever the problem is, you find solutions to it. Yeah, you're right actually. Thanks, okay? You're welcome. <laughs> What about your PA? You mean Rita? Yes, I guess that's her name. She doesn't work for me anymore. Oh, that's good. Are you still in contact with her? No, I'm, I'm not in contact with her anymore. I, I would like to focus on this family now. You know, Dimeji, I think you need to reduce your workload. Hmm? Yeah. Take care of you. I feel so good. And you're right, Rita. I need to reduce my workload. Mm. What did you just call me? I, I called you Vanessa. I just you called, called you. me Rita Dimeji. Did I just call you Rita? Don't make me feel stupid. I know what I heard. 
No, but I, I called you Val. You know what? Just leave. Look. Leave! This it's obviously not working. We've both just grown further apart. Just look. Your body's here, but your heart and your mind isn't. Look, just give me some time. I'm sure that we can make this work. We both know that time isn't what we need. You love her. And time isn't going to change that. What about purity? Hmm? How are we going to tell her this? I mean, just seeing how excited she is knowing that we're back together again. It's going to break her. I know she has, but we just have to find a way to tell her. We have to. Okay. Good. Everybody will be fine at the end. Purity. You know, your dad and I love you very much. And we would do anything to make you happy. But what's the point of making you happy if we're both not happy? I know what we're about to say will make you a bit sad. But I think it's best we say it. I know what the two of you want to say. I know you guys go back together just because of me. And I appreciate that. But it's made me realize the two of you aren't happy together. So I don't want the two of you to come back together just because of me. Aww. You're so grown, my baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. I love the two of you so much. Even if it means you marrying or dating other people. Are you serious? Yes. Wow, look at how much you've grown. You know I love you, right? I love you too. 
and <laughs> <laughs> Oh, so many questions begging for answers where did we ever go wrong you used to love me and i adored you our love was ever so strong but now Good morning, sir. Good morning, Sandra. Welcome. Sandra, I'll need Rita's address. Could you pull up her form and make sure that the address is sent to my office immediately? Okay, sir. Thank you. Who's there? I'm coming, I'm coming. Hey. What are you doing here? Where's Rita? That wasn't the question. What are you doing here? Look, I'm sorry to barge in on you like this, but I really need to see Rita. For what? Where is she? What are you doing in my house? Rita, I'm really sorry. Well, I do not need your apology. Go back home to your wife and your daughter. And leave me alone. We're not together anymore. Uh, okay, I would give you two space to talk. Excuse me. Look, I'm really sorry for what happened. I was only afraid for my daughter's life. I mean... It's not an excuse, but if you had a child of your own, you'll understand. Rita, please, I'm here because I'm really sorry for what I did. And I know it's not an excuse. But I apologize for it. It's okay. I forgive you. I'm not here because I want to take you back as my peer or anything like that, no. I'm here because I love you, Rita. Look, the past few months has been hell without you. And I practically missed you every day. Rita, I really do love you deeply, and that's why I'm here. And what about your daughter? We spoke about it and she's fine. She's okay with us dating.
Is it okay if I hold you now? Pretending that we can 